Good evening, Twin Tiers. I'm Sarah Wilson. Thank you for joining us for 18 News at 6. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Big Flats. New York State Police on scene at Arnett Mall. They responded to reports of an active shooter, but New York State Police say they determined there were no reports of shots fired or any victims. Police say there is no credible threat at this time, but the mall is still under lockdown and Horseheads Police are still on scene. Again, they say this was not an active shooter situation. This is still a developing story. We're going to have much more coming up at 11. In the meantime, stay with us on air and online. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here at the Arnott Mall in Horseheads, New York. Uh, I guess we could get into a little history on the mall. It was uh, opened in 1967. Uh, it had, when it opened, it only had 40 stores and JCPenney is the original anchor. The mall took its name from the original developer, Arnott Realty. It went underwent an expansion in 1980 at Bradley's, Hess's, and Sears, and now has an area of over 1 million square feet and over 100 stores. Several anchors have changed names in the mall's history, most recent being Burlington Coat Factory, which opened in 2006 in the former Bradley's department store. Other former anchor stores include Hess, which became Kaufman's in 1995, Macy's in, 19, in 2006, uh, and Izzard's, later McCurdy's, then Bonton. For the 2011 year, all Pennsylvania real estate investment trust, own, trust owned malls, including Arnott, gave away free school supplies with a purchase of at least $75. Uh, Jeff Gordon was spotted in the Arnott Mall Arcade on Saturday, August 13th, after a race on August 8th at Watkins Glen International. Later that day, Robbie Gordon gave out signatures outside of GNC. Employees of the mall said they felt the 2011 Virginia earthquake that affected much of the Northeast United States. 2010 saw multiple classic chain anchors retreat from brick and mortar after being challenged by digital retailers in recent years. 2016, it was announced that Macy's would close, but that was buffered as it was immediately refilled by a new and improved Bonton department store. Unfortunately, though, in 2018, it was announced that Bonton would close, which is pretty obvious. They closed all locations due to bankruptcy. And in 2020, Sears closed down, leaving only JCPenney and Burlington as the only operating anchors. Uh, I don't really think there's that much more history on the mall um you know i really hope you enjoy the video uh remember to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys again real soon goodbye